Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Kim Sweers and I'm the host of Boat Boss. And today I'm with Captain Will Barrett. Say hey, Will. What's going on, you guys? Will is our in-house contender specialist at FB Marine Group. And today we are sea trialing and doing a walkthrough on this 32 contender ST powered by twin Yamaha 300 IDES motors. So stay tuned for some really exciting video and information. All right, we are on the ICW, what we call the Intercoastal Waterways in Fort Lauderdale. We're just about to take off to do a sea trial and walkthrough of the 32 Contender ST. What an exciting day to have my son actually, Chase. Say hi to everybody, Chase. Hi. <laughs> He's actually captaining the boat with Captain Will Barrett's assistance. So stay tuned. We're going to get back to you shortly. has made this boat one of the most favorite tournament boats in South Florida is the amount of space that's up here. I see the that, I see that. This has kind of become one of the more common layouts you see most as most Surrey twos are built out with the uh, without with no floor seating, open bow, and then this beautiful uh, coffin box that is integrated onto the console. And what makes this such a neat layout for this boat is that you still get amazing space up here to walk right. around, fight sailfish or something. A lot of real winter, estate on this boat. A lot of real estate. Yeah. But back here, you have a, um, a coffin box that not only serves to give you a bunch of storage on deck, but it also turns into just an absolutely wonderful Looking state. good, looking so good. I like that. This is that now, That's where I would sit. Instead of a tournament fishing boat, that I mean, just a pure tournament fishing boat, the wife and your kids, when you come back from fishing on Saturday, have a place to ride on Sunday. I love it. But even though it's a nice creature comfort, it's still very functional for fishing. Check this out. This is a split wow. box design. It's nice. made by Fridge and Rigid. So you have actually two separate storage bins. Okay. So when you go out fishing, you can use one side as a kill box for like the body, the and stuff. And on the other side, you have a separate insulated box that you could use as a cooler. Nice. Put my champagne or my beer, whatever you have in there. Absolutely. Sodas, water. <laughs> and then, but what's also wonderful about this design is that we don't take up any of the in-deck real, uh, real estate that this Contender 32 is known for. There's a this lot of fishability. Fish it's amazing. A lot. Yeah. Massive 164-gallon um, box here. And then what's really cool is I don't have this switch back here, but this whole box rotates up on a hydraulic lift. Wow. We still have another box underneath it here. So Absolutely for, incredible. For like longer storage. term storage, if you will. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. All right, well, take us aft. All right, let's cruise on back here. One thing I'll show you about this M-Series console. Uh, this is the newer console design from Contender. Okay. Uh, it's an upgrade. It's Beautiful. all the pipe work from the hard top is on to, on the console. So you see how there's nothing on the floor? I see that. It gives you a lot more real estate in here. You don't have to worry about banging your feet on anything. Right. Really nice ergonomic design. Beautiful wrap around polycarbonate windscreen. No joke. And we'll, I'll show you guys this when we go for when we do the quick numbers. We can stand behind here at 50 miles an hour and have a normal conversation. That's wow. how quiet it is. Love it. Can't wait to see that. Moving back here, you can see we have a hard top that's color matched to the side of the hull. Beautiful. This for gray. Back here where Captain Chase is right now, he's sitting on what we call the custom leaning post, with a, uh, which has a bullnose back, bolster backrest. See that? Slide over here a little bit, quick button. What's nice about this design is that I can sit in this boat, be going 60 miles an hour, try, you know, getting out to the grounds. It can be rough as hell, and I'm locked in here. I love it. Yeah, it seems very secure. And I still have great visibility from the helm. See that? All right. This M-Series console 
the amount of real estate you have on here for electronics is just incredible. These are twin 16 inch screens, A616 Norman, and you can see if we wanted to go bigger, easy. Easy to go bigger. Got the new Bocatec switches. Beautiful. And then when we start our Citra, I'll show you some of the new uh, features with the uh, new Yamahas and the Yamaha control systems. So let's keep on going to the All back right. here. I'll show you some more. Fantastic. I'll show you the other working space. I love it. So as we always say, uh, every contender is a custom built, uh, built boat. And Randy and I designed this boat to be kind of, uh, to appeal to the tournament anglers. And when you look in the floor, you'll see that we have another bit, um, storage locker here. It's actually not a storage locker. It's a 65 gallon live well. Wow. Can, can we see inside? Absolutely. Very nice. Wow, look at that. It's absolutely it's massive beautiful. live well. This is an uh, optional feature. Okay. If you, if you don't want to add this, the space can also be used if you want to put a sea keeper two in here. Okay, great. Or it can be used as additional storage space. Fantastic. We've got the two standard 50 gallon live wells in the back. So basically between these three live wells, we have over 160 miles of live well space. So if you want to fish like a three day sailfish tournament, a whole lot of bait going on. Yeah. yeah, a lot of space for bait. So that's the whole motto of Contender, <laughs> babe. All right, so what makes this 32 ST different than let's say like, you know, a year ago, or a few years ago, what makes this one different? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it just keeps getting better with age. And as we've seen in the market, there's just been um, an incredible amount of new technology that's coming out in the uh, with outboard, uh, marine outboards. You know, Mercury, um, remember the other week we did the first 32 with the twin 450Rs. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's crazy is when this boat came out in 2008, the biggest motor you could get on it was twin 250 Yamahas, and it was a 60 mile an hour boat. Now we're pushing 80 miles an hour 12 years it. later, and it's like I said, it's getting better with age. Let's talk about the twin Yamaha 300 IDES motors. Right. Explain the difference between the old 300s and then the new one. So the twin 300 Yamahas have been an uh, iconic motor package with this boat. Um, by far the most popular package can, um, for this boat. Um, this motor, this new 300 IDES is an improvement on the uh, 300 XCA. And what they did was they basically took a lot of the technologies they developed with the 425 and incorporated them into, the, into this motor. So you have the um, incredible reliability and reputation of the 300 combined with the, a lot of the new features of the 425. And it just makes it that much better from the new integrated, uh, integrated digital electric steering, which is what IDES stands for, and also the new and improved uh, lower unit on this motor which um, came off the 425 and makes this boat, when you put it into reverse, um, a lot more responsive, which is great for the fishermen because when you want to back down on a fish, it gives you a lot more bite back there. So it's quick too, because there are times you have to back, you have to back up quickly. Super quick, yeah. And what the, what the new system does is instead of um, the exhaust going through the propeller hub, which it normally does when you're cruising, when you go in reverse, it goes out to the, through the back so you don't have any of that exhaust cavitation, so you get a lot more bite from the propeller, and it backs up a lot straighter, and there's a lot less vibration as well. That's some great stuff. Let's talk about wide open throttle speeds at a cruise and speeds at wide open throttle, and let's talk about some performance numbers. Right, so this boat, um, really the sweet spot for this boat um, in terms of efficiency and speed is at about 4,000 RPM. Okay. You're gonna be burning about, you know, between 26 and 28 gallons an hour, depending on your load, and you'll see speeds from 42, I mean 40 to 43, depending on how heavy you are. Okay. In a full tournament load, you know, with the live wells filled, ice, uh, four or five people on board, it'll be around 40, but, you know, light right now, you're going to see 44 easy, and you're going to be doing 1.6 to 1.8 miles per gallon, which is really impressive for a boat this size. Yeah, you gotta remember, it may be called a 32, but this boat is really almost over 33 feet in length. It's a big yeah. 32, so those are big numbers for a boat this size. Well, awesome stuff. Well, Will, we can't thank you enough for uh, your time today and for the walkthrough and, and that and the sea trial. was so much fun going that fast. And, and we couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day. Oh no, I mean, it's just picture perfect down here. It's uh, perfect weather just to get, get out in the ocean and let these boats rip. I love it.
Well, as I say, find your dreams, go after them, and whether you live, work, or play on the water, just get on the water. That's get on the water, hit a contender, and go fishing. All right, so if you need more information, please contact Kim Sears, the boat boss, Will Barrett at Empty Marine Group. We would love to show you some, uh, some uh, different options and what's out there in the contender line. We look forward to working with all of you, and don't forget to make it an epic day. Tune back in in a couple weeks, you guys. We're gonna have a brand new 44 CB arriving oh, as well. All so, right, so rain check on that. We're gonna do that for sure. Rain check for sure. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Catch y'all later.